What up? It's your boy, Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And I apologize for being late, man. I was a little under the weather. I still don't feel the greatest, but I feel better. So, this is my discussion slash review for both Fury. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defenses. Episode 9, man. So, let's dive right into it. Because this episode was the bomb. I don't care what anybody says. This episode was fantastic. And I did not expect them to dive right into the Guild Wars. I, I figured... Maybe like next episode, but we got into it now and I'm okay with that because I think we only got like 12 episodes this season. So I'm okay with us diving right into it and then having uh, everything transpire and would well, begin to transpire in this episode and we're going to kind of finish it out later. So I'm totally fine with that, man. Um, this episode started right off with uh, <laughs> everyone seeing, Ma seeing Maple's new mode, new attack or whatever with the, uh, with the, uh, the mech. That she got from the uh, the other uh, level three, it was so epic, man. Um, they were like, oh well, well, we know she has something super awesome to show us again, and <laughs> they were just standing there looking. It was like, wow, that's just it's just a shame. She's so powerful, <laughs> but good thing she's an ally. Um, so also we have this episode. Um, then we don't. Then we go right into the, the opening comes on. Then we get, go right into the episode. Um, we see the holy sword. Uh, kind of just having a nice conversation talking about the uh, upcoming event, which is the Guild Wars. And um, the leader is saying that, you know, well, I sent Frederica out to check out and scope out Maple Tree to see if they can have some weaknesses or anything like that. And the funny thing is, we knew that she was going to be there watching them while they were swimming or whatever. But we never saw her. We never saw really a hint. But Sally noticed from the beginning that she was there and watching them. She just never said anything until right there at the end. And now we always give Maple credit because it's Maple. But I always give Sally credit where credit is due. And Sally showed up this episode. Not only just um, <clears throat> noticing that Frederica was there, but also challenging her to a duel to get information against um, the Flame Emperors, which kind of came back in handy towards the end of the episode. And um, to challenge her to a duel to try to get information out of their guild. Then Frederica kind of laid it on thick. Was like, well, I'll give you information about the uh, Fire Empress, but the Flame Empress, but not our guild. Which you kind of expected that to happen. But what I loved was when they went to a duel, Sally challenged her to the duel. She accepted. They went to fight the duel. And they were going back and forth. And she was launching at attacks and everything. And Sally played her like a doll man she played it just, just playing with her like like a puppet on the strings because sally came out and started fighting her and just really pretty much evading everything and she named out real moves but she told her well she she didn't tell her but she kind of showed her um the names of the real moves but she uh she didn't give her the actual details for what they were doing so that was epic on Sally Park. Now, we know she's like a master gamer. She has trophies and plaques and everything from her playing video games. But that was on the next level crazy because she she, she done let her do the attacking. And, and Frederica revealed a lot of her stuff, like the multi shields and like all of the attacking stuff she was using. She released a lot of her stuff. So Sally kind of knows how to combat her a little bit when they have an actual fight. But... She didn't really get a lot of information on Sally. And the two things that Sally named, she she used them just to throw out their names so the chick would kind of be on guard a little bit. But she didn't know what they actually done. So we didn't even know what they actually done until Sally went back to the guild and told everybody. But now that, Sally's on another level. We knew this already, but seeing it take place. Okay, Sally, I see you. I see you. Um... So then we get back to the guild and she's telling them what her moves really does. I had to write them down because I wasn't sure. Uh, coax attack uh, manipulates enemy attacks for your, oh, to your will. And Cascade repels every enemy attack for a while. So she just played it off while she was fighting Frederica just to give her just a little bit. And then she goes back to the guild and tells them, he's like, well, the wrong information could be just as harmful as not having any. Then come on, man. Tell me that ain't genius and boss level status coming from Sally. Then we also see um we're getting ready for everything and uh the little the little minion guy pops up and starts to explain the rules for um uh, 
the Guild Wars. And um, they're breaking it down. And it's kind of like capture the flag, but it's capture the orb. So they have to capture, well, they have to keep their orb safe. And every time you keep your orb safe for, I think, three hours, you get two points if you're a small guild. And if you're a large guild, you get one point. And every time you take, um, if you take an enemy's orb, you get one point for every th three hours you keep it captive, I think. Uh, and that's how it is. And then, like, if they take it back, then um, you don't gain a point and they don't lose a point. So it kind of, um, I may have to watch it again. But I, th I think that's the gist of uh, the Capture the Pearl or Orb or whatever. So then we have um, them trying to come up with a game plan of how everything is going to go. So we know, of course, we have Maple staying at home, well, at their base um, to guard their orb. And then they also have, um, who else do they have? They have uh, Maple staying there, Yui and Mai, Ease and um, Kanade, Kanade, uh, or Kanade staying there with um, them. And we have Ease kind of as a backup. She does, she's not really going to be attacking or anything, but we have Ease as a backup uh, just in case some, some things go wrong. And we have Kanade there to help Maple and Mai and Yui attack. So, that's the uh, defense people at the at their uh, little orb base. Then we have the attackers, which is Sally, uh, Kasumi, and um, Chrome, or Kurumu, however you want to say his name. Now, they go out. Oh, and before I dive into that, uh, we got to see um, Ease get some new gear that allows her to create um, items and everything anywhere she is. So she doesn't have to be back at the base or her workshop anymore. She can create items wherever she is. Now that that is cool. That is that is definitely going to come in handy. But now they are Sally and um Kanade and uh, not Kanade Kasumi and um Kurumu are out attacking people. Now this is where the story changes and shifts. This like nobody's business because then we have Sally going out on a rampage. Kasumi and uh, Kurumu they, they're doing their thing too. No disrespect, they're doing their thing, but nobody's like Sally, man. And then they even even acknowledge the fact that, like, well, we know Maple's a beast, but Sally's a beast in her own right, too, right? Because Sally went ham this episode. Like, I know we only see Sally, uh, you know, doing stuff here and there and eat in, in some of the episodes we've seen. But there was uh, this episode and the episode with the giant bird and um, when they were fighting the other monster uh, on the way going to level two, will be finally... Oh, and she, when she fought the sea monster to get her gear where we kind of see Sally kind of go all in. And, oh, when she was uh, when she was doing some PK, uh, some player killing as well, too, she went in there, too. So there's only been a couple times where we see Sally really going in, and she went in this episode, man, and it was a boss because she, she was laying them down, manipulating these guys to attack other camps, and then she'd bust in there and steal an orb. She'd steal an orb and disappear and vanish. Come on, man. She, Sally used her powers to perfection this episode like all the other episodes she done good but this episode she used them to perfection and then she came in contact with the number two ranked player which is the assassin guy and they were going at it both of them using super speed going back and forth and they started actually fighting and he was kind of weary because he got kind of, maybe kind of thought of what um Federico told him about Sally's powers well what she thought she knew and um he was going at it and then he was like, oh, you got super speed too. That's cool. That's cool. But then dude jumped up and said, God speed. And Sally was a little thrown because that made him a whole lot faster. But at the same time, don't forget, she had um, Cascade. So she used Cascade to stop his attack. And then all of a sudden, he left. He vanished. She was trying to search for him, but he disappeared. So we also got to see uh, the assassin guy, the number two ranked player, um, go ham. But at the same time, it didn't really matter that he used Godspeed and he's the number two ranked player. Sally held her own. Come on, man. For real. Uh, we saw the flame interest, uh, Empress, uh, two of her companions from her guild. They were sitting there talking. He was like, well, I don't know if I'm capable enough to do this. I don't want to disappoint her. And they was like, look, we got some of the guys that tried to steal our orb. In your, they got caught up in your attack. So, yeah, that's done and done. Then we have the Flame Empress just laying waste to this other guys while she's trying to steal their orb. But she turns her back and for a moment, Sally kills her guys and takes the other orb. And she chases her, but Sally uses super speed and she's like right behind her because she used something like, like a Flare XL or Flame XL or something like that to try to catch up with Sally. But then Sally used the, the, uh, the Mirage one and disappeared. Come on, Sally! 
Sally is a renegade. Like, yeah, she's part. She's still part of the team, but she's working on her own, and she's doing it wonderfully. You can definitely tell that Sally played. Um, you can tell. You can definitely tell that Sally earned her trophies. Like they weren't given to her, or like you know, like she worked with a team and got them as a group. No, you can definitely tell Sally earned her trophies on her own because she went ham this episode. And then we have um these other guys. They kind of find ma um Maple Tree's base. For this, um, for this event, and they go in there to try to attack these guys. And of course, Maple used the, the Archangel power. Anyway, whenever they're in in her little um, circle, when she has the Archangel powers, they can't be harmed. Um, but I think her defense is like a thousand or something like that. But like whenever they're in it, they can't be harmed. I don't know. I have to watch the episode again. I may be off about that. But anyway, it was so epic because they tried to attack him. He was like, "Oh wait, the one dude. Remember the one dude when Maple was in the event herself? It was like, you're Maple." <laughs> It was good, and then we also have a whole bunch of spectators watching Sally um, take down these guys like it's nothing, and they were all just enjoying Sally. They was like, oh, wow, I want her to win. But this episode was good. Like, it wasn't too much going on. They kind of just dove us straight into the event, and um, I'm okay with that because we only got a couple episodes left, and I like the fact that we dove straight into the event. But I'm super excited to see what's going to take place next because I know they're going to have to fight the Holy Sword people. I just know it. I feel if they don't, I'm going to be upset. I really want them to fight the Holy Sword people, man. This is your boy, Dick Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button. You can't smash any more. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters. Anime is greatness and anime is life, man. Peace out. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show I'm about to take down, you already know Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta